Now we we'll just go ahead and find the derivative with respect to theta of e to the i theta. Now I'm going to do two different solutions, different ways. Okay. Now I want you to see, okay, and know that e that the derivative, okay, of e to some um, exponent. Let's say if you are differentiating with respect to x, let's say derivative of e respect to x of e to power um, n x, okay, where x is a constant, that it is equal to, let me find the derivative with respect to x, that's what I mean, that it is equal to what? It's just equal to the n times e to everything n x, okay, so you go ahead and apply this into that, straight up, you have that the derivative with respect to theta of that man right there, a to the i theta, we're going to have i times a to the i theta. That's it. All right. Also, we can also have the derivative this, okay, e to the theta. Now, we can notice here that e to the i theta is equal to cosine theta plus the i sine theta. That's the polar form of a complex number. So you just substitute that in there and we differentiate. Theta is equal to, oh, sorry. With respect to theta of a to the i theta, it's just going to be the derivative with respect to theta of, we bring this in, okay, as cosine theta plus i sine theta. So doing that, we're just going to have um, the derivative of cosine theta with respect to theta is what? It's just negative sine theta. And the derivative of sine theta, you know, where i is constant, the derivative of sine theta with respect to theta is just cosine theta. So that's plus i cosine theta. Now, this is the same thing as saying i times e to the i theta. All right. So this shows the derivative of e to the i theta.